What is happening, everybody? Black Tiger here with Dead Poly. It's called Dead Poly for a reason. It's the dead zombies in a poly in the polygon world. Yes. So hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, this will be the first one. Uh, I'm just gonna break down what's happening here and there. My original recording, my voiceover recording, had some buzzing sound in the background, so I decided to just kind of break down what's going on in this video. So after fighting a zombie, I realize the zombies are not really that bad. They're not, well, at least the few I fought. I mean, this one that's crawling, uh, I, I, I guess I had to fight it a certain way. I can't just swing down because I'm not landing these shots. I'm getting bit. <laughs> I'm taking some damage. So you got a hot dog zombie there. That wasn't bad. It was a one hit a quitter. Oh, look. Then did, did I find a helmet. So the helmet, and that probably helps you get far as protection. I would imagine more for PvP, but uh, this is a single player mode. There is PvP mode, so. Uh, okay. Look like a zombie trying to run away? Uh, but not, not landing any shots? There we go. Dead zombie. Tried to loot the body, didn't find anything. Finally find the backpack. I knew I was going to find the backpack at some point. And that's a that's a real big backpack too. So now now I feel comfortable looting. Just like most survival games. You're always looking for that backpack. You're like, dude, I can't pick up anything. You're like picking up stuff, thinking you need it. You had to drop other stuff. So I was able to pick that up. That helped. Now I can pick up a table. I can also pick up a pumpkin. And I can pick up a whole entire dresser. <laughs> so what happened here, I, I, I decided, like, I'm just going to claim a spot where I can keep stuff. That way I'm not just carrying stuff. I chose a random house in the middle of nowhere. I said, I'm going to stay here. Um, it, was, it sounded like a good idea at first. I just chose any house. It was like, whatever. Made a, made a workbench. So I can start seeing what I can craft, and there's like decent amount of stuff on there. I still, I still, I still have no idea of what um, what was my next move as far as crafting. But if if you play survival games, usually you know what you need at least at the beginning, and then you work your way through everything on the list. But I saw Anvil and all this other stuff on there. I knew all that stuff would be important eventually. As you can see there, I finally found a gun. I just can't use that. I don't have any ammunition. And you also have to, you need a clip. You can't just like pick up bullets and start reloading. You have to have a clip that goes with the guns. So that's another thing. There's no like simple pick up reload uh, action in the game. So couldn't use it yet.
All right, so so as I was exploring this 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 apartment building, I decided I liked it. Like that house, I was like, I'm going to choose. I was like, nah. So I was like, let me go back to that house and get that stuff, that workbench, and that that uh that dresser, so I could bring it back to the apartment. I feel like the second floor was like the perfect idea. That's basically what my next move was. So now I'm getting settled in. I think I figured it out. I, I really like the uh, idea because of I, I ain't got to worry about walking out the door and being swarmed. So the second floor of this building was also perfect. I mean, you can you can barricade the doors, put doors downstairs, but I just felt like it was probably since a beginner. I was like, yeah, it's a great spot, very great spot. At this point, I was just trying to figure out which melee weapon I wanted to use. I honestly don't know which one's stronger than the other, but I feel like the sword would probably be the easiest one to swing around, so I chose the sword over a sledgehammer. You'd think a sledgehammer would be a one in a quarter.
So at this point, at this point, I'm still settling in my apartment, add more crate boxes so I can be able to store more stuff because obviously in single player mode, I'm going to find as much as I can. There's no limit to what I can find. The question is how I'm going to use it, use it utilize each thing I find. So uh, it's probably going to become a horde fest after a while, but this is, this is just the start. Now that the night time is coming, I'm not going to run the streets. This is where I'm going to wrap it up. Stay tuned for the second uh, episode. So we're going to figure out more stuff and figure out what everything is good for. See you later.